I'm Jody Tropiano, Health's Head of Content, here with Dale Cook, CEO of Learn to Live, who has some exciting news to share with us today. Dale, thanks for being here. Hi, Jody. It's a pleasure to be with you today. You as well. Well, uh, first off, can you tell our audience a little bit about what you do at Learn to Live? Well, we founded Learn to Live uh, really literally to help people learn to live better um, by making it easier to access all the tools they need to address some of the most common mental health problems. Um, I describe us as a rapidly growing company that's in some ways really shaking up traditional models of mental health. Um, and we do that with having programs that combine on-demand self-directed lessons with live clinician coaching to make cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT, which is known as the gold standard for mental health treatment, really more available and more accessible than ever. And by offering services in this way, We've not only been able to address barriers to access, but also the other primary reasons people don't seek help in the first place, which is high cost and widespread stigma. So with this approach, we're able to deliver really effective solutions for some of the most common mental health problems, such as depression, anxiety, stress, worry, insomnia, and substance use. And for many people, our programs are really the first time they're actually able to get the help they need. And we make all of this free to our users by partnering with employers, health plans, higher education institutions, and other organizations. So tell us a little bit more about that. How do you measure that success? Well, I think the most important measurement of our success, um, candidly, isn't our technology. It's not our growth. It's not even our scale. Um, it's really the impact that we have on each member of our community. Um, nationally, our programs are actually right now available to over 33 million people. Um, which is terrific and really great for the mission um, through their employers, health plans, schools, et cetera. But um, even though we have that really broad reach, we still maintain a real critical focus on empowering each member along their journey. And so to your question, I think um, the way we think about that is, uh, for example, our members have significant improvement in their mental health um, as a result of, of that engagement. Um, for example, 46% of users with clinical levels of suffering show reduction to subclinical levels. Um, on average, our users see a 27% drop in their psychometric score. So for example, this would mean that someone's depression score drops by almost a third. And this outcome is actually considered very exceptional, clinically speaking, even in in-person clinical settings. And to what do you attribute the success? I think our success really is derived from first um, addressing head on the barriers that keep people from receiving the mental health services they really need. I think second, our use of clinically proven solutions. And third, our approach, our approach to engagement. So in the vast majority of cases, people don't seek care for their mental health problems because of a lack of available services and providers, because of high cost, um, because of stigma, because of fear of discrimination in some cases. And sometimes it's all of the above. And so by making uh, confidential on-demand help available when, where, and how people need it, and at no cost to them, we can effectively address all of these barriers at once. I think second, our use of clinically proven CBT really differentiates us in um, what we now is, what we all know is a pretty crowded space for digital mental health options. Um, as I mentioned, CBT has long been regarded as the gold standard for mental health treatment. Um, and we also know from decades of research that digital delivery of high fidelity CBT can have the same or better outcomes as in-person treatment. And so this means that not only is the individual in our program successful, but we can also drive tremendous ROI uh, for the organizations that work with us. I think finally, I would say, speaking of, of organizations and our partners, the way we collaborate with them to drive awareness and communication to their communities coupled with how our programs are designed to maximize repeated interactions with our members, with our users, results in industry leading engagement um, in both the programs and with our clinician coaches. And so we've developed those programs to encourage regular touch points really day by day to help our users advance through the programs and break those, those old patterns and establish better habits. Yeah, it's excellent. 
So looking forward, what can our viewers uh, come to expect from um, Learn to Live? Any new developments that you want to share with us today? Well, we're always looking for ways to strengthen that engagement that I've talked about, to expand our reach and ultimately increase our impact. And um, to that end, we're always constantly evaluating our programs. We're listening very closely to users to understand how we can make our programs even better. And uh, to that end, I'd share a handful of recent enhancements to our tools. Um, we're providing a more efficient clinical assessment now that takes about half as much time to complete um, while continuing to meet rigorous clinical standards. Uh, we've added additional gamification, including um, achievement badges, which uh, can really help people um, as they move through digital experiences uh, and goal tracking. And we also provide now pro all programs and coaching in Spanish. Um, I'm also especially proud to share that we have two new programs launching this year. So uh, we have a resilience and growth program uh, that is really designed for everyone, not just those suffering from a specific mental health problem. Um, it's a research and evidence-based program, just like the others, uh, which helps people learn to leverage their personal strengths so they can better cope with adversity, improve their emotional well-being, even realize, you know, better realize personal goals. The second program uh, that's launching this year is called Panic, and that provides powerful strategies, as you might imagine, for those who suffer from varying degrees of panic and panic attacks. Um, in the end, we're really most proud of the lives we're impacting, and that's our mission. Uh, and we're able to do that because of our incredible team, certainly at Learn to Live, and our amazing partners and clients, uh, and I couldn't be more proud of that. Well, congratulations on all the wonderful work that you're doing and appreciate you being here with us today. Thank you.